For practice it, self check 5.19 has pennies. We need to use Boolean Zen and write an improved version of the following method, which returns whether the given number of cents, so this parameter, requires any pennies as opposed to being an amount that could be made exactly using the coins, which would be um, nickels other than pennies. And the reason why we say nickels and they're um, saying exactly using coins other than pennies is because every other coin can be made from nickels. Like 10 cents is two nickels and a quarter is five nickels. So to do this, we can actually start by looking at this line here. Might be easier to rewrite it, so we'll just do that. We'll copy the method header and this uh, bracket like this, and now we can start rewriting it. We want to look at what it's asking, and it is to return whether the given number of cents would require any pennies. So we want to return whether the given number of cents, so cents modulus five, because um, if it has a remainder other than five, we need to substitute or we need to add pennies to this amount. Let's say if we had the amount 45, we took the modulus of it by five, then we would have no remainder, so we would need to add no pennies to this. But if our sense was 26 and we had the modulus five, we would need one penny to make it to 26. And this is going to return, because it wants us to return whether the given number of cents would require any pennies. So we're gonna say does not equal zero. And then we can close this off and we can just comment this out because we're using this as our springboard to get to this part. If we submit this, we can see that we have passed the test. To summarize this problem, I copied what the question was asking from our problem right here, and it's asking to return whether the given number of cents would require any pennies. So if we pass in something like 45, we would see 45 modulus 5. This gives us 0. Since 0, since, well, in this statement right here, it's saying 0 does not equal 0. This is false, so it's going to return false, meaning it returns false for the cents, since it would not require any pennies. False means it does not require any pennies. And then if we look back at the question, it says return whether the given number of cents would require any pennies. That means if it does require pennies, it will return true. So what we can do is put in a 27 here, and then we could do 27 modulus 5 does not equal 0. This is true because 27 modulus 5 is 2. 2 does not equal 0. So this will return true, meaning we will have to add pennies into this. And that is the correct code for this problem.